Hi there guys, my name is Samuel and today we shall be taking a look at Lego Minifigure Series 20 which has uh, which is set 2102, uh, 71027, sorry, has um, apparently 127 pieces. Um, thank you to Brickset for that information. 16 minifigures. And yeah, without further ado, let's jump into them, which I get that some people were disappointing that there was no Chase minifigure, but still, I think this is a great series. And now let's jump into the minifigures. We have the Piñata Kid, which I think looks really cool. There you can see he's kind of like Mexican hat, a Mexican um, outfit, which looks really cool. I do, those hats I do find look really cool. So taking um, a look at this, here you can see it also reminds me of the, the big cowboy ones potentially but yeah that's a really nice mold, nice mold and it's really cool we get that then actually taking a look at the um like the uh, outfit he's wearing i'm not really sure what it's called i guess robes is pretty cool kind of reminds me of um joseph in the color dream coat kind of one which yeah the top one overlaps onto the bottom one but yeah that's what he looks like and yeah i think he's a really good mini figure i get that some people um, might not like the figure due to the fact it's kind of plain and there is literally no um torso detailing but he's still a pretty cool minifigure and i am having difficulties putting on the hat there we go but then looking at the actual pinata i think it looks great the detailing is amazing on this power yellow there you can see that then moving around that is pretty awesome and yeah that's so cool i do like the look of it there is the towel and yeah, that is basically it, guys. So there is the piñata. I think it's cool. And obviously, there is the stick for when he's going to be playing the piñata game, which would have been cool if they'd given us something. Maybe like, I don't know, they could have done it with ham, like that little cork and something could have fallen out. But yeah, that is a pretty good minifigure. And yeah, there's nothing under the printing. So yeah, you can see that there. There's literally nothing there. But yeah, that is the piñata kit. And then here we have the breakdancer minifigure who looks really awesome. And as you can see, there is a jumper piece with that nuclear piece. I'm so sorry. I forgot about that for the DC series. Um, Yeah, it's not rememberable for me. I really, it, I don't think anyone, like I've not heard anyone speak about it since. It's kind of not existent. I think they're using it for Moaning Myrtle, but it's only like one or twice a series. They use it like here, we get it twice. Here you can see this like new beatbox, which, um, well, detailing, which I think looks really awesome. And there we can see that, which is really awesome. And wow, okay, that just fell over. Not the most handiest things. But then there you can see the, um, oh, it's quickly easy to sort that out. There you can see the break dancer, which I think she looks really cool. The hat logo looks pretty cool. I think that is a really neat minifigure. Then yeah, the hair looks cool. It's got like the dark red hair and then the hat, which is pretty cool. And taking a look at her, you can see she has one eyebrow um, little patch and that's actually like it. And the actual minifigure, so kind of reminds me of Jay. Maybe a callback potentially to me. It, yeah, it could be pretty cool. This started in 2010, so this is 10th um, anniversary this year. And well, apologies, guys, for some reason I'm actually having big problems here. It won't focus in. There we go. There you can see her coral um vest thing, the t-shirt jumper there. Then there you can see her jogging bottoms, which are pretty cool. Some um good detailing definitely on this minifigure. It's just dual molded. Then there it is on the back and yeah that is the um break dancer pretty awesome minifigure and yeah there's no second face but yeah that is the break dancer here we have the p um p in the pod costume girl which looks pretty cool kind of just you know it's just that really one piece and a bit of printing but yeah i think you can get an unprinted one in i think it's like the new town set or is that the wheat no that's sorry that's the wheat part but um yeah i think there was an unprinted or a different printed version but i think that's a um bricks and uh, pieces thing but the actual one in store that uh, build a minifigure area so that is a pretty cool piece i got to admit it looks quite funny then here you can see the um p in the costume um p p pod costume girl minifigure but she has an apple which um yeah i don't really understand why so then here you can see the actual like salad i guess that's why but then yeah i guess salad and but then who would i don't know about s s uh, fruit and val uh, salad together that sounds a bit like um to there so yeah here we can have a look at her face which apologies guys i have no idea why the camera's not focusing in i'm gonna have a look at that in a minute but then there you can see her printing and yeah that is her minifigure which i think looks really cool and there is also another expression which she looks really happy and a bit on the back but yeah that is the p in the pod costume minifigure which i'm gonna quickly have a look and see what was wrong with the camera and here we have the tournament night minifigure which looks really awesome with the shield printing i think it looks great then it kind of looks like the sword of gryffindor sword but like a prototype like maybe they're trying to like get it and then they got it perfect for um the uh, next series which is pretty awesome then here you can see him which i think he looks great like the chain mail and he's got a classic helmet on and that is his facial printing i think it looks pretty awesome 
and then he has got a couple of marks and stuff which looks pretty cool then with that with him focusing in here we can see the actual detail which apologies again i don't know why it's all of a sudden got really blurry i'm not really sure um the phone isn't too hot so i'm not really sure there but yeah there you can see his chainmail detailing his um belt and his face and yeah i think that looks really awesome and there is his back torso detailing which again i think looks really good if it will uh focus in yeah there you can see that and overall i think he is definitely a really good minifigure if that will Yep, focus and in. And then quickly, side note, sorry, I forgot. You can also see his printing going around the side, which, yeah, I think is a really cool minifigure. And it's cool to see that old shield. It's like they've got a few different shield molds that they're kind of going between. And yeah, that is the, uh, what was his name, tournament? No, at the Pirate Girl minifigure. I think she looks really cool. She has one of my favourite colours being dark, um, mar well, maroon on her leg uh, printing, which is pretty cool. Some, like, um, buckles on her t-shirt t there and she has a cutlass and yeah she's a pretty good mini figure she has this really awesome new hair slash hat combo which i think again is really awesome that they've done that then taking a look at her there you can see that which is really cool or taking a look at the other side she looks more happy and her details continue on the back which looks really awesome and yeah i think she looks cool she has the belt and all the other stuff. And yeah, I think she looks really cool. So that is a pretty good minifigure that will go well with Pirates of Barracuda Bay. And here you can see the space fan. This is kind of like the um, NASA um, fan. So as you can see, she has this um, blueprint of a rocket, of her rocket with all like the um, equations and stuff, which is pretty cool to see. And then like all the ratios, scale, centimetre and all of that, which is pretty cool to see. And there you can see that NASA, is, is, like it's actually a license, which is cool. So then, yeah, it's pretty cool that they um, do that. But then, yeah, having a look at her minifigure, you can see she has a wrench and she has that Benny's. Um, looks like the 4 Plus set, but I think it's original. She's got some, like, sewn-on patches on her trousers of, like, a love heart, a star, and space. as what well, a planet, I believe that's... Um, oh, actually, I'm not, sure, so I'm not sure what one that is. Jupiter, I believe. And, um, yeah, that looks pretty awesome. And then you can see where she has space on her coral hat. Again, quite a lot of coral in this series. NASA... And then we can take a look at her other face where she has her goggles all ready for testing. And yeah, that is what she looks like. So that is a really cool minifigure. And she also has the wrench too. And then she also, well, yeah, the uh, hair hair colour is black with the uh, mar uh, coral hat. And next up, we have the llama costume girl, which, to be honest, guys, I think the quality's better having them down on the desk. So I will try it for the next half of the video and see how it goes. So here we can see the llama costume girl with the um, carrot, which um, there's a bit of dust there. My apologies. There you can see the carrot. And yeah, I think she looks really cool. This llama hat is pretty cool, I have to me. It's quite um, funny to look at. And yeah, it's so obvious to feel for when the series was, uh, well, yeah, she's still around. Then there you can see the zipper on the back for her costume. And taking that off here, you can see her face, which I think she looks pretty good there. Then she looks really happy. She's like, she clearly must be a big llama fan or just wants to make people smile. But um, yeah, that is a really awesome minifigure. She also has toe printing, which is pretty awesome too. And here we have the Viking minifigure, which again, the quality looks better down here. So I'll do them down here in future. There you can see the shield, which looks pretty awesome. And um, yeah, kind of just moving that to a side. Here we have the um, body printing, which I think is really cool. He has a staff, the um, dual molded arms and everything. And yeah, I think this is really a good minifigure then here you can see the um oh sorry the breakdance has fallen down and then again there you can see that the lace detailing on his trousers which is cool then there you can see some body printing which i'll show that in detail in a minute then there you can see like his cape so not exactly sure what that is it but i guess so over like a second cape or something here is another mold which is like this awesome mask which i think that does work pretty well i've got to me that's a cool um mask piece actually let's move it back here then if we actually take off these pieces of that so there you can see the printing which i think this just looks such a good minifigure and yeah the cape kind of wrapping around the top is cool and like a little locket kind of reminds me of a pokemon character but yeah that is the viking also here you can see the viking which i think the viking just looks such a good mini figure there you can see his uh, face printing which is really cool then if i hold it here what we can do we can zoom in and have a look which that is pretty cool. Apologies if that's a bit blurry when I zoom in. But yeah, that is 
the Viking, which I think is a really good minifigure. Then here we have the um, Super Warrior, which basically it's a Power Ranger knockoff, as most people call it. But I still think it's a really good minifigure and miles better. Here we have this Energy, which I think that looks really cool. The Energy piece, sort of used for um, Nidacon and some of the uh, original elemental weapons, the ones from the Dark Island at the Temple of Light. But here you can see this minifigure, which... I just think the detailing is so good on this minifigure. Like, it's definitely... I know it's one of the fan favourites of this series, and there's quite a lot of jokes about it being, like, Power Ranger ripoff. But, yeah, you can see the pink um, belt, which should be uh, white, but it's got more of a strawberry pink kind of colour. Then there you can see his arm printing. And then, yeah, you can see its face uh, mask printing, which I think this is really awesome. And then taking a look, there you can see his face, which that may, that may or may not match up to... Um, any of Power Ranger. I've not seen it since I was a kid, so that was years ago. But yeah, there is that minifigure, which looks really cool. And then here you can see the Martial Arts Boy, which I think looks really awesome. He's another pretty good minifigure. Then there you can see these, um, what do you call them? Sorry, Nunchucks. Oh, Nunchuck, sorry. I believe this was one of the final minifigures I had to get. I believe so, at least. Um, yeah, pretty cool figure. Then there you can see, I actually think the final one was the Rocket, because I remember going through the packets and then there was one that was on the shelf above me the whole time and I knew it was there but I didn't feel like I was like there's not gonna have a figure and then I got through the box I was like oh uh can't get the last figure and I felt it and it had the last figure and I, just, I knew it was there I just thought it wouldn't like the odds of that is mental but then that's happened to me before when I needed Hermione for like Harry Potter 1 I walked into the Lego shop and I'm like excuse me can you help me look for Hermione and then and then they're like Oh no, they asked me, who do I want? I was like, can you look, help me look for Hermione, please? Because they was already feeling, and they already had Hermione in their hand. Like, that's kind of weird. But then here, you can see the Karasi kid, which I think he looks pretty cool. He's detailing, yeah, really cool. I like the brick logo, so it's like his own, like, Karasi club, which is pretty cool. Then looking at the um, back, he's got a logo. Kind of reminds me of one of Wu's logos, which is pretty cool. And there you can see that. And then he's got this curtains haircut, which is pretty cool for lego to have another hair headpiece then there you can see that which i think that looks really awesome so yeah then there's uh, his happy face and that is the karate kid and i want to quickly say this is all like dual molded you cannot get these off which um maybe i guess i do agree that they could be quite nice little maybe chopsticks a bit smaller than the um three um long pole I guess that could be pretty handy for maybe chopsticks and some other things. But yeah, there is the karate. And kit. then here we have the athlete minifigure, which I think looks really awesome. Then kind of focuses in on in. She has this like throwing disc, which I think is a pretty good print. Pretty unique, really nice. Like the color saturation is perfect on that. Then she's got like a spear, maybe a throwing spear, maybe... Maybe it's like a disc. Maybe you've got to like throw it through the air and like hit it in the middle. That may be what it is. I'm not a sports person, so I have no idea. Or like a uh, clothes line up person, so I don't know if this is a logo or not. It most probably isn't, but apologies if it is. And there you can see the shorts and the um, logo. And yeah, she's a really cool minifigure. She has a trophy, which is really cool to see. Sorry, I mean a medal. Well, I guess that is cool. kind of a trophy. You can see the colour, which looks really cool. No arm printing there is her face printing, which looks really good. Then taking a look at the other side, that's basically me at this point in time, guys. It's like 96 degrees in England, and that's really hot for England, and I'm really sweating at this point. It's really warm in here. Then there you can see that, uh, which the um, 7390 says Lego backwards, um, backwards and upside down, sorry, which is really cool. So look, there you can see Leg Lego. No, that's not working. Okay, that is uh, backwards. So yeah, I'll see if I can throw an image on that backwards. But yeah, there is that minifigure. I think she looks really cool it's really cool to see and then if we take this off which you get a spare which are so nice to get because i don't believe i've ever had one before maybe i have but i don't really remember then there you can see it again which looks really awesome so yeah there is the athlete and then here you can see the um sea rescuer which looks really awesome she's connected by one of the um, pieces upside down which connects to the bottom of the other flipper and then she has this plant bit of seaweed or something like that and this is an overall a really awesome minifigure it's got two of my favorite colors being coral and blue so that's a really com cool combination as you can see she has like the dual molded arms which i do like the look of that is pretty cool and then there you can see the zipper on the back which is pretty cool then you've got her facial print which she looks a bit like she looks a bit happy but then a bit like oh, why is this happening kind of face and then if we put her actually we'll put back on after that 
in between takes of the next figure being the uh, brick costume guy. Here we have the little turtle, which is such a cute little mold. Look at that. I still really would like to get some more of these when they go on sale potentially. But yeah, that is the turtle, which is such a good, nice little one. And then here we have the brick costume guy minifigure, which I think he looks really awesome. The detailing on him is amazing. Then here we have this 10th anniversary sticker, which there's some marks on the left. Not really sure what they are. I was wondering, is it a sticker like pre-factory applied like Marion? I didn't notice, but no, it isn't. But yeah, it's not really much else to show about this figure. It's kind of just um, a brick that you can into. Uh, interconnect with all the others it's interesting there's never really been anything interesting come out of these like i don't i've never really seen an interesting mock but yeah there you can see that he looks pretty um happy and yeah there is that brick costume guy which is um pretty awesome then here we have the 80s musician minifigure or aka billy it really reminds me of billy from stranger things like season two and three it seriously reminds me of him then here you can see the instrument which um i saw someone on the internet is actually upside down which is kind of funny that lego have somehow like done it but yeah i think the black keys should definitely be at the back i think yeah they should be then they can see that pretty awesome print but then yeah here is um i just call him billy because he really reminds me of Billy. There you can see the um, printing, which I think is definitely really awesome. If we can get this to focus in, there you go. You can see like the pink lightning logo. Kind of reminds me of Pikachu's, but then yeah, you can see that. Then you can see the face, which yeah, I think he looks really awesome. The pink trans with the um black and silver belt is really cool. Then he's got his like proper rocking out like rock star face, and he says he's on tour. Like maybe somewhere like LA or something with those maybe neon colours maybe or maybe Japan because I know in um, Tokyo they've got some lovely um, neon areas which is really awesome. So yeah, you can see that and yeah, you got the hair piece which this hair piece is really um, cool because it's Luke Skywalker's but the disappointing part is that it's literally just the same. It's not been altered at all for this figure which is kind of a nightmare and there we go and i've just uh, realized that i can i can alter brightness i've just remembered that wow um but yeah here you can see that looks pretty awesome and yeah that is uh billy the rock star or aka 80s musician musician sorry not a rock star but yeah that is pretty awesome and then here you can see the pajama girl which looks really awesome with the bunny piece which i really like that piece i think it is really cool it's the teddy bear and i remember getting that and i was like what is this piece for trying to um Feel for it to see like what it could be, but yeah, looks really cool. There you can see the um bunny arm printing and the arm printing there, which is really cool. So it goes all the way up to the shoulder, and people saying that they couldn't have printed to find the blue stripe at the top. I think it would have been possible. Maybe they could have done like quarter of molding. That could have been really interesting. But yeah, that is a pajama girl. There you can see her uh, bunny printing, which I think does look pretty awesome. And there you can see the other bunny printing. And then, yeah, you can see her face, which I think looks really awesome. And, yeah, she has Hermione's hair in blonde, which is really cool. So maybe you want a blonde Hermione. I don't know. But um, all jokes aside, it's a really good minifigure because then, well, you know, you get more spare parts. And if you're like a mop builder or anything, you get lots of cool pieces. So, yeah, that is the pajama girl. And last but not least, I don't think, is the drone boy, who I think looks really awesome. So taking a look at this drone, which uses the parts of the propeller hat here, which I think is really cool like that. So it's basically it. You just got these like five pieces i think that looks really cool then here you got hit the um, gun the blaster which i think looks really cool then there you can see that and yeah i think it looks really cool putting that on there so that's how you activate it then here you got this controller which i think is really cool quite futuristic that it's round because i don't really know any controller that's round like that um you got the xbox one but i mean completely just like that um quarter circle tile part then here you can see he's printing with tron is that like the uh, that tron theme or that um i believe wasn't this to do with the um this old monorail set i believe is what i think i heard in one of just good videos i believe so maybe i should flash one of theirs but there you can see that pretty awesome mine's got a couple of marks but it's fine it's got the um lovely um hat it's in blue my favorite color there you can see his face which i think is cool he's got the plaster bit clumsy and yeah there you can see it on the back he has a hoodie printing and that is the final minifigure and that is it guys that is series 20 which i think is a pretty amazing series i know that the people are kind of mad that that's literally all we got it was like the um 20th series sorry but 10th anniversary of the lego minifigure collectible series but um yeah i i don't mind i think it's uh all right for what they've done it's a great series i definitely could see it would have been better if this was series 21 being honest i think that would have worked only because we needed something special. Like, maybe they could have remade all the favourites, could have done a Mr. Girl, or something like that. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. 
It is about a thousand degrees in England and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.